Welcome back to Tabletop Titans and another Titans Tactics, apart from this isn't tactics. In fact, there's no tactics in this video at all. Today, we're talking about model ranges that we think need updating, the ones that most desperately need some love from Games Workshop. Of course, if you enjoy the content, please make sure you do the usual. You smash that like button, you hit that subscribe if you haven't already, and you hit that bell notification icon so that you're notified every time we drop a video, and it all really does help us as a channel. Us? It's not really us. It helps Titans. You know what I mean. Anyway, as I said, today we're talking about model releases and let's start by looking at some of the most recent model releases Games Workshop have chucked out. Some are refreshes of old sculpts, some are brand new sculpts, some have been incredible and some have been questionable. But today we're gonna to look at which model ranges we think need updating the most. And we're gonna start off with the Aster Militarum and namely the Catachan Jungle Fighters. I mean, look at it. These were first released in 1994 and they still have not had an update despite the fact that recently we saw an Astra Militarum update with a ton of new models. We had new Attilan Rough Riders, new Cadians, new Field Batteries and even the new Rogal Dawn tank. What we haven't seen is an update to the Catherine Jungle Fighters. So with the troops choices you can take in Astra Militarum, we've got brand new Cadians, brand new Plastic Krieg, and no Catachins. They just seem to have been a little bit left behind. And if you look at them, Proportions just don't work. Our poor old Rambos, they need some love. Whilst we're on the topic of Astral Retirement and Guard, we can look at the Regimental Advisors. They're still an option in the Codex and they're still viable. They offer you lots of different tactical choices and flexibility in the Astral Retirement Codex, but they're also still metal. That's right, if you order the Regimental Advisors from Games Workshop, you will be, see re you will be receiving still metal miniatures from Games Workshop. I didn't even know they still made them crazy absolutely crazy so next we're going to move on to xenos and we're going to start with the nightbringer from the necrons why just the nightbringer i hear you ask because the deceiver is also quite an old model well the nightbringer is probably the first choice among necron players if they do decide to take a katan in their list he has incredible damage output he has an interesting profile he's fast and he's pretty killer killy so he's a very popular choice but he's fine cast <laughs> no one really likes fine cast. It's a terrible, terrible medium to make models in. And with the Void Dragon release, Games Workshop showcase that they can make big, epic, incredible looking Necron Catan, Nightbringer just doesn't really stack up to him. He doesn't look as intimidating. He doesn't look as as uh, as impressive and he doesn't look as terrifying the nightbringer should be a lot more terrifying so sticking with xenos we move over to the Tau, and i've specifically chosen vespid now vespid could be so cool in fact the whole auxiliary range for Tau could be so cool could be wildly expanded there's lots and lots and lots that they could do and i feel like the mercenaries for hire from Tau is a bit of a missed opportunity we have the crew and the vespid and nothing else there could be loads more but the, i mean i mean look at it Look at that team, it's horrible. And it's more fine cast. Why? Speaking of fine cast, speaking of Xenos, and speaking of supremely old sculpts, we're gonna move into Aspect Warriors, the Eldar. Hmm. So Aspect Warriors are still an immensely popular choice amongst Eldar players because they're still incredibly good unit options. And the three that still remain in Firecast are also still incredible options. In fact, they're probably some of the better Aspect Warriors in terms of actual codex choices. Striking Scorpions, Sweeping Hawks, and Warp Spiders. They're all very effective, very useful units, and they're still all horrible old Firecast models. In fact, some of them are incredibly old, and again, much like the Astro Militarum, these Aspect Warriors seem like they've been a little bit left behind. Why? Well, we've seen new Shining Spears, new Howling Banshees, new Dark Reapers, new Rangers, new Guardians, the new Avatar of Cain. Lots and lots of refreshes, again, for the Eldar. And yet these sculpts still haven't been touched and they're still old, fine cast models. I think Warp Spiders are like nearly 30 years old. That's nearly as old as me. It's about, I think, eight or nine years older than Adrian, roughly. I think. <laughs> anyway, these sculpts definitely need an update. They definitely need a range refresh. And I'm excited to see what they will do with these because they will do them in the future. I would just like to see them sooner rather than later. And I'm excited because we have seen Howling Banshees and we have seen Shining Spears. And for me personally, that is a stunning model range. And I really want my Elder to be updated. Please, please. And that begs the question, what comes next? What will Games Workshop release next in terms of new models? Will we see a new faction? Will we see new models for units that haven't had models before? 
Or will we see some of these older ranges be refreshed by Games Workshop? Will it be a combination of all of them? This is the thing that I really want you guys to engage in the comment section below. I want you to tell me two things. What do you think they will do? And what do you want them to do? Which ones do you want them to refresh? And do you think they are the ones that they will in fact refresh? It's an important question, people. The models are one of the most important parts of the hobby. We need to see new refresh sculpts. I'm excited every time they drop new models. I'm super excited to see what they might do with Aspect Warriors, with Tau Auxiliary, even with Catachins. I'd be all over Catachins if they release new Catachins. Come on. Come on, Games Workshop. We need more in proportion Rambo type looking muscly dudes. That's what we need everyone needs so i hope you've enjoyed this video if you have like i said at the start please smash that like button that'll be it from me we'll see you all in the next one